It's January 5th, and today we're reading The Proud Cat. Because little Margie wanted a cat so very, very much, and because you weren't allowed to have real-life animals in the flats where she lived, her mummy crocheted one from bits of wool. And since the wool was pretty, three-colored, and angora, the cat was pretty, three-colored, and angora, too. But she turned out to be terribly proud and quarrelsome as well, and Margie began to wish she had never wanted a cat at all. Most of all, Angora liked to make bets. Every night she would say to Margie, Bet you can't find me tomorrow. They would bet a bun or a toffee or an ice cream. Angora didn't mind what since she always won and ate everything. Margie was annoyed at how good the cat's hiding places were and at how big-headed the creature was becoming. She knew she would have to find Angora once at least if the cat were not to become quite impossible. Then she had an idea. That evening, before Angora had a chance to say, as usual, in her crocheted little voice, What will you bet me you can't find me in the morning? Margie secretly untied the little knot at the back of the cat's neck and unraveled a stitch or two. Angora swaggered out of the door and had no idea that Margie was holding the end of her fur. This time, the cat got found right enough, and afterwards she always had a zigzag pattern across her fur where the wool had unraveled. That's how you can tell it's Angora, because she isn't a bit proud any more. Good night.